All right, for our last Taylor series, the derivatives turned out to be pretty horrendous. Let's see if we can get some easier derivatives this time. We're going to find the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor series for this function about a equals negative two. Let's write out the general Taylor series. All right, and if we plug in a equals negative two, here's what we get. And let's hope that all four of these coefficients on these terms is not zero. And basically what we need to do is plug our x value of negative two into the original function and into three different derivatives for this function. All right, let's take some derivatives first. Our function is four over x, and it's gonna be easier to take derivatives of this function if we think of it as four times x to the negative first power. Now our first derivative can be found just by using the power rule, and we can continue to use the power rule two more times. And all right, we're gonna to need to plug x equals negative two into each of these functions. And I think plugging x values into these functions is going to be easier to do if we write them out as fractions. All right, let's do it. We need f of negative two first. That's going to give us four over negative two, which is negative two. Next, we need f prime of negative two, which is going to be negative four over negative two squared, which is going to give us negative one. Next, we need f double prime of negative two. So down here in our f double prime function, we're going to plug negative two in, and we're going to get eight over negative two cubed, which is another negative one. And one more, f triple prime of negative two. I'm getting negative 24 over negative two to the fourth power. That's gonna give us negative 24 over 16, which reduces to negative three halves. Okay, so what we're going to do next is plug each of these four coefficients into this Taylor series up here. And that is going to give us this line of work right here. And doing one step of simplification to simplify and reduce uh, all of the coefficients is going to give us our final answer. Okay, so that problem was much easier than the previous problem that we did. I'm pretty happy to end on that one. So unless you guys have some questions, that's going to be the last problem that we're going to do for Taylor series. The next set of problems that I'm going to do is going to be about parametric metric curves, and we're also going to do some areas in polar coordinates. Depending on the class that you take, that might be a calculus 2 topic, that might be a calculus 3 topic as well. After that, we're going to start talking about vectors in three-dimensional space, and that is calculus 3 stuff for sure. Okay, I'm going to keep cranking out the videos. I hope to see you next time.